you are about to see the launching of the Curiosity Wheel. What is it and what does it do? I'm glad you asked. Watch this. Looks like an ordinary tin can with a piece of cardboard on each end, but it behaves in a very peculiar way. We send it off across the floor, and at the appropriate moment, I will flick my fingers, and it comes back. Not only does it come back, but it keeps going. All the way back there, until I flick my fingers again, and it comes home. What on earth is happening here? It must have something curious inside it, and it does. Because wherever I send it, it seems to come back home. I tell you what, I'll explain to you what things it has inside it, and then see if you can figure out what's going on. It has inside it a large rubber band and a blob of plasticine or modelling clay and two ice cream sticks. The way in which those bits and pieces are organised or put together is of course absolutely vital. What do you know about rubber bands? You know that when you stretch them, they unstretch. When you twist them, they untwist. Which of those two do you think is the important thing for this little motor? Well, it's the twisting one. The piece of plasticine acts as a sort of a weight around the rubber band so that it holds it in place. And when the rubber band tends to twist, it stays there for a while. Any clearer? Tell you what, we need to go back to scratch and build a curiosity wheel. Start with a large tin can with a tin lid and carefully make a hole in the centre of the lid and also in the centre of the base. Take the lid off and then bring in your large rubber band. This is the, really the motor of the whole device. What you need to do is carefully insert that down towards the base of the can and then thread it up through that hole. There we are. And when it's in that position, you insert one of the ice cream sticks uh, to make sure that the rubber band stays where you put it and doesn't fall inside the can. Pull it back tight. Here comes the trickiest part of the lot. You need to stretch that rubber band up, hold it in your finger like that so that there's a little bit poking out, and then thread that part through the hole in the lid. And we're going to push it through, grab it with your fingers, and while you're still holding it, put the other ice cream stick through so that the rubber band is now held in position, stretched tightly across the centre of the can. There we are. Now that's the motor, but it won't do anything until you attach the weight to it. That's the piece of plasticine. Make a groove in the plasticine with your finger. There we are, like that. And that's going to wrap around the rubber band. Another slightly awkward part, but you can do it if you're careful. Try and place it in about the centre of the tin. Wrap your fingers around the plasticine. And there, it hangs as a weight from the rubber band. So the centre of the rubber band will stay put when the edges twist. So you can now close the whole thing up and it's ready to roll, but I used a couple of pieces of cardboard, not that they're needed to make it work, but simply they help by disguising the ice cream stick and the rubber band, and they keep the whole thing a bit of a mystery. But once that's in place, you're ready to try it.